This one taken just inside the 10. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line right around the 36. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now a handoff as they run left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. They'll run again with Blunt. They find some open field here. Look, Garrett Blunt. And touchdown. Well, Garrett Blunt, 49 yards. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back. He's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. It's a short kick, taken at the 15. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Rice. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Let's go, Mike. Back to throw now on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. They'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, and that'll make it third down. Well, they're slinging it, and then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That yeah, came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Now back to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets a dunk. He'll look to throw. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Zach Ertz, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers make some inroads here on that deficit. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. Now this offense about ready to take over again. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. across the 43 extra yards to the 43 a solid run on first down gain of seven leaves him with a second and three 
Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense. And this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. So it'll be first out here after the run. And now here's a carry heading left. Trucks throw him. Oh, man, right through it. And he is out of bounds, just a yard or two shy of the 30. And give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. To throw his car. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the 4-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They come out here in the eye. They'll run with Lynch. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. This is where coaches have to have spent a lot of time going over situations with their players because... Him getting tackled there is not the worst thing in the world. You're going to run more plays, right? Clock's going to go. But his thought process is getting into the end zone. It's counterintuitive for him to actually go down in this spot. Yeah. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. LeGarrette Blunt tying a career high with his fourth touchdown of the game. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one taken just inside the 10. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going, and they feel like they can attack it. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Barrett, and they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. Now a handoff as they run left side. It's a gain of four there, and it gives them a new set of downs. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team 
is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. Now the offense lining up first and ten. And now here's a carry heading left. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. throw here he's gonna fire one deep over them that's caught inside the 20 and all the way in for the touchdown Devontae Adams his second touchdown of the afternoon and his guys are gonna add on to their lead and to me that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline I think they pretty much locked this one away yeah that's the clincher the proverbial icing on the cake if you will and the lead is now 24. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. This fielded at the two. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Let's go! Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw, and he finds a man on the crossing route. And he's brought down after a good gain. And a nice gain of 21 yards. They'll look to throw here. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Jason Barrett. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Now a handoff as they run left side. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. And some space here. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Santa Clara.